How's it going guys? It's Poetry Stud here, and I'm about to give you guys a guide on how to get the most from OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. If you don't have OBS already and you're looking at this video to try and get a feel for the program, I would um, suggest going looking at the website. I'll leave a link to the website here in the description. Um, probably leave a link in the video as well. But anyways, for those of you who haven't and are wondering how to get the best out of it, the best video, this is going to be about that. So, as you'll see, I have my awesome Gruen Logon background. I'm going to go to my OBS and open it up. So, we're here. I'm going to make it full screen for you guys. So, we're going to go to settings, because where else would you go if you want to change the settings? Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. So, first, we're going to go to encoding. Make sure encoder times 264 is checked. I think you can use these as well, but I wouldn't really suggest. I think you have to have some complicated software and hardware to do that. Make sure that this box is unchecked. UCBR is unchecked. That's the first thing you're probably going to have to change. Change the quality balance to 10. Change your max bitrate to 1000. Turn on use custom buffer size and turn that down to 0. The reason for this is that we are, well it's kind of complicated so I'm not going to go into great detail, but you're basically just making it so it goes faster. That's all you should have to worry about with encoding. So let's go on to broadcast settings. Yes, I would like to. Um, you shouldn't have to change anything here. If you don't all know, if you don't already know, then to make it so it does files, you change that. I'm not gonna mess with that though. So we're gonna go on to video next. So in the guide that I'm gonna leave the link to in the description, and there's really nothing about this, but if you really want to get, if you have a really bad computer and you really want to cut down your lagging and stuff, you can actually do a resolution downscale. And what this does is it just makes it easier for the computer to process. I originally had mine at normal, but then I changed it down to 1.25, and that wasn't even enough, so I did 1.5. And now my videos run a lot faster and they don't freeze. You can do the frames per second at different rates. That really helps with the speed. Um, you can do the filter different. And I there's three different levels. You can kind of balance it out if you want. My computer, like I said, is terrible. So I, already, I, would, bleh, I always use bilinear. That's all you should need to change in video. So audio, again, you don't really need anything. Uh, you can look at other guides for that. The last thing we're going to do for video today is go to advanced settings and go to video. What we want to do is we, we want to turn the times 264 CPU preset to ultra fast. Um, you can do other levels too, but especially if you have a terrible computer like mine, do ultra fast. This should be main. You shouldn't have to change that. You shouldn't have to change the keyframe interval. Down here, make sure that use, CF yeah, use CFR is disabled. That the allow, six, yeah, allow 61. I cannot talk today. Make sure that this is unchecked and check the custom times 264 encoder settings box. And in this box below, this is the last thing we're going to have to change. In the box below, you're going to type in CRF equals and then do any value between 0 and 20. And I'm going to explain to you why you would want to do 20 and why you'd want to do 0. If you have a really good computer, you could do 0 because that makes it so that the quality is amazing. The, and the lower values mean higher usage of the CPU but also higher quality like really good quality so yeah so one two three four five all those will be really good quality videos so if you want to have a high quality video and you have a good computer that can handle it do CRF equals any of those values and like I said zero it actually does it like enables a really advanced setting I don't even remember what it's called but it makes it really good you need a really beefy computer for that I wouldn't recommend setting it to zero if you set it to 20, that's the lowest quality, but it's also the, the best as far as lag goes. It reduces lag, and I always use that because it still looks pretty darn good, I gotta say. So anywhere from 15 to 20 is probably a good range for starting out to get a feel for things, so maybe 15 or 16. That's what I'd recommend. So that if you do all these things, remember, set all these things this way, set all of these things this way, and maybe mess with your video a little bit, then you should be able to get really good quality recordings out of OBS. Um, and that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you out. If you would like more walkthroughs and guides like these, I would be love to do them. Um, and that's going to be it for me today. So thank you for watching. Subscribe for gaming content as well as more guides that I'll hopefully be doing in the future. And, and check out my other stuff. And until next time, goodbye.